गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिलेस एंड फ्यूजेस ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस अबाउट द स्विचेस इन द लास्ट क्लास टूडे क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिलेस एंड स्विचेस रिले रिले आल्सो ये स्विच विच इज द which having the some special properties compared to the previous switches so we are going to discuss about these relays and the fuses connectors and mcbs objective of our topic is on completion of this period you would be able to define a relay classify relays appreciate the function of the relay so these three topics regarding the relays and next on completion of this period you will be able to know need of the fuse different types of fuses rating of the fuse application of fuses use of the mcb list different types of connectors necessity of the connectors so we are going to discuss this topic today in our class first now we are going to understand what are the relays and what are the fuses and connectors and mcbs we try to go in detail the first one is the relay what is the relay from the known to unknown what you know what we know is what is a switch switch is a device which connect the two points either <coughs> either off either on it makes the connection or break the connection between the two connecting points that is called as a switch does it operate mechanically or electrically now you can see what are the switches we are using in the domestically in our house purpose they will be make the contacts mechanically <coughs> not electrically mechanical connection means if you wanted to make the connection or if you wanted to make the switch should be on or off you need to physically move towards that switch and you need to work mechanically or pressing or some other thing sliding or whatever it may be you should involve in mechanically the operation is also mechanical operation but sometimes we need the automatical on of on and off of the switch that is by using the electrical signal the switch should be on or off at that point at that type of applications we use the relay relay is the device relay is the device or relay is the switch which provides the on and off condition by using the input electrical signal by using the signal it provide the on and off condition that is the difference between the normal switch and the electrical relays normal switch should be operate physically or manually but these switches you automatically operated by using the electrical signal this is a, a good innovation compared to the uh, previous versions of the switches what is the relay now we try to discuss about the relay what is the relay a relay a relay is a electrically operated switch it operated with electricity whenever you are sending the electricity to the switch it makes a connection or it breaks the connection depending on the electricity opens or close closes an auxiliary circuit the circuit which added with this circuit that circuit will be added or closed or open mechanism to make or break connection in an electrical 
circuit so this is called as a relay a relay is a electrically operated switch opens or closes an auxiliary circuit mechanism to make or break connection in an electronic circuit the main concept is the main concept is we can make the connection or break the connection not physically by using the electrical supply by using the supply we can make or break the switch in the circuit generally these are used in the in between circuits what are the different types of relay you can see the relay how the relay is there these are the magnetic magnetically operated or electro magnetical relays you can see so what are the classification of relay classification of relay relays can be classified on three different ways the first one is the principle of operation the another one is the polarization and third one is the applications of the relay so what is the principle of operation what principle we are using so many principles are there electrical principle is there mechanical principle is there hyd that is a magnetical principle is there pneumatic is there thermal is there like the depending on the principle of operation we classified into the different types of relays another one is the polarization depending on the polarization polarization means making the contacts north or south and make after making them uh, magnetically operated or magnetical poles then it will be attract or repel in the circuit that type of thing is called as the polarization classification a last one is the application depending on applications the relays are divided into some more types now we try to again discuss about the classification in detail so we already discussed three points first one is the based on the principle of operation second one is the based on the polarization third one is the based on the application in coming to the first one based on principle of operation the principles are so as follows electro thermal relay the meaning is by using the electric electricity and thermal energy this device is act as a switch electromagnetic relay electromagnetic relay electricity and magnetism both are used here solid state relays solid state relays means here we use the semiconductor devices solid state relays hybrid relays those are those are electromagnetic relays plus solid state relays are called as a hybrid relays we try to discuss briefly about these classifications not needed in detail some concepts are needed for us those are based on the polarization here the second one is the based on the polarization the polarized relays non polarized relays polarized relays are used in the telegraph relays non polarized relays are used in the telephone relays this is another type of classification in the classification top sub division of the relays the next and final one is the based on the application is type of relays depending on the application are general purpose relays read relays three time delay relays four interlocking relays three time delay relays interlocking relays latching relays fast acting relays slugged relays shunt field relays high speed relays directional relay mercury wetted relay ferrad relay overload relay over current relay like this we having the so many relays are there now you can see see relay tree relay as relays are classified into three first one is the depending on the operation second one is the depending on the polarization third one is the 
application depending on the application we have in the 14 applications are there based on the operation we have in the four classifications are there already i explained depending on the polarization we have in the two classifications are there now we are going to try to discuss some of input relays in this class electrothermal relay we try to discuss about the electrothermal relay now we are discussing about the electrothermal relay electrothermal relay means in this the basic principle is we are using the electrical energy and the thermal energy by using this we make the on and off condition the basic intention of our is making the switch that is the relay electrothermal relay operates on temperature and comprises of two materials the current is passed through them and heat is produced whenever heat is produced the bimetallic strip will be melted or bended so that the contacts are made more current passed contacts materials expanded and contacts may be broken so this is the main intention that is the thermal relay is operated on the temperature and it comprises of two different materials and the current is passes through that material whenever current passes through the material heat is produced when the heat is produced the material may melted or bended toward the connection so that the connection is established by using the electrothermal relay you can see in the diagram make a contact by metallic strip is here extend expansion of by metallic strip is here first second the initially the connection is in the normally closed mode whenever the current is increases temperature is also increases temperature increases by metallic strip is bended a one side so that we 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 arrange such that the bending should be open the circuit expansion of metallic strip should be open the connection so the what is the basic principle working principle of the by metallic strip uh, relay is we having the by metallic strip and the contactors are there through them current is flows when the current is flows heat heat head heat head generator after generating the heat expands expands the material when the circuit breaks when the circuit is breaked we try to cool that break cool that break by using applying the cool cooling the water and contraction and then circuit is closed this is the working of the bimetallic strip relay the applications application of bimetallic strip is used in microwave electric cooker geyser iron box now this we are using the electrothermal electrothermal having the electro thermal relay now we are trying to discuss about the electromagnetic relay so here we use the two energies that is the electrical energy another one is the magnetic energy what we are doing is we apply the electrical energy to the circuit so that the circuit may be may be magnetized after magnetizing depending on the magnetism that may attracts the contact and establish the contact between the two open two open connections two open points that is called as a electromagnetic relay three basic elements are there in it actuating element armature another one is the contacts we are using in the electromagnetic relay actuating element armature and contacts are there so how we will construct this the construction of electromagnetic relay is the core surrounded surrounded by coil of copper wire 
core made of plastic or bakelite coil impregnated by varnish core mounted on metal frame core is mounted on metal frame you can see the diagram then you may understand that is there is a core is there around the core we have the coil leads are there and uh, and as you can see nice edge pin yoke spring leads armature armature is there so whenever we apply the current through the coil leads what happen means the because of electrical energy magnetic power will be generated across this coil across this one whenever uh, uh, magnetically generates uh, it uh, try to attracts the armature uh, try to attracts the armature so that it will close the switch you can see there electromagnetic relay so what is the working of electromagnetic relay is voltage applied to coil produces magnetic field in the core core attracts metal armature then due to force of attraction various contacts attached to the armature make break or change over when voltage is removed armature returns to its original position when voltage is not removed it will be energized and it try to act as a magnet so these are called as a some of types of uh, relays electrothermal relay electromagnetic relay we have also so many other relays are there now we are going to discuss second classification that is the polarization con classification in the polarization we having the two types of relays are there polarized relay and non polarized relay polarized relay and non polarized relay now we are going to discuss about the polarized relay you see the figure south south north permanent magnet and so watch coils are there polarized relay means the energy of something is more you can see the circuit how it is spin is there north south is there all the values are there polarized relay you can see the diagram polarized relay magnetic effect of the permanent magnet superimposed with the magnetic effect of the operating current the direction of the currents determine the position of the armature position of the armature two electromagnets are placed side by side with the pole pieces facing each other between the pole pieces a small soft iron armature is mounted on a brass spindle as shown in the figure a u shaped permanent magnet is fixed such that its pole pieces are opposite to that of armature the permanent magnet produces a magnetic flux a tongue is mounted on the spindle carrying the armature this tongue moves between two contact terminals spacing s and marking m current in b a direction strengthens the right hand core and weakens the left side a making contact m is made marking a marking contact m is made current in ab direction causes the tongue to make the spacing contacts permanent magnetic flux is called polarizing flux permanent magnetic is called polarizing 
plugs this type of relay is called polarized relay the next one is the non polarized relay you can see non polarized see relay how it is non polarized you can see m and s south and contacts are making by using the electricity the principle of non polarized it operates the flow of current current flows in the coil force is extend exerted on the armature armature attracted to the core pulling the two contacts together now we try to discuss what is saying the non polarized relay consists of a pair of coils wound on two cores armature with springs fitted close to the cross close to the cores with an adjustable air gap current passed through the cores flux produced armature pull towards the core so that is the operation of the non polarized relay you can see current passes through the cores and then flux is produced armature pulled towards the cores the meaning is by applying this current the armature will be moved towards to the cores the application generally where we are using this type of uh, electromagnetic relays these relays are used general purpose relays read relays time delay relays interlocking relays used as telephone relays all these are applications of electromagnetic relay so many relays are there so many applications are there you can see there mercury weighted relay ferrad relay overload relay overcurrent relay fast acting relay like that the relay technology also improved so vast shunt field relay high speed relay slugged relay directional relay latching relay so on next topic we are going to discuss is the fuse what is the use of the fuse are you see anywhere the fuse the fuses generals are used to protect the protect the devices from the overload current the fuses is used as a breakers when the overload comes over current or over power supply comes into the household or anywhere the fuse will break the connection this is a very very important uh, component which we are using the fuse fuse is a over current protective device it is a short piece of wire or thin strip the meaning is the fuse is nothing but a short piece of wire or thin strip we are using to connect the both the things whenever high power comes this piece of wire will be melted so that that melting protects the other side devices it is always connected in series with the circuit or equipment to be protected this is called as a fuse fuse is a over current protective device and it is a short piece of wire or thin strip it is always connected in series with the circuit or equipment to be protected why we need the fuse we need to know need of the fuses fuses are widely used in electrical distribution and wiring system to protect against damage due to overload or short circuit fuses are used in electrical electronic appliances to protect against damage due to overload or short circuit like that we the fuses are very very important it is used in electrical distribu distribution system and wiring system and also used in the electronic appliances suddenly suddenly 
a high current may enter into the device or distribution or wiring so that high current may damage to these this to these component so in order to protect that we are using the fuses fuse is very very important so how how it works fuse how it works fuse working the fuse the fuse this raises the temperature of the fuse element and melts whenever a overload current is passing through the fuse that overloaded current that non limit current over limit current raises the temperature of the fuse and then it melts the uh, thin strip or thin wire when the wire is melted it disconnection is takes place and it makes the disconnection of the circuit and it protects the circuit from the overloaded current under normal operating condition fuse is at a temperature below its melting point we design fuse such that at the normal condition the fuse is at the normal temperature it does not break the current supply is normal current to the circuit without overheating when a short circuit or overload occurs current through the fuse increases beyond capacity that increase may may break the connection that is the working of the fuse now we try to discuss about the types of fuses what are the different types of fuses the fuses divided into the two ways first basically low voltage second one is the high voltage low voltage fuses are open rewirable cartridge ferrule contact knife blade fuses are there at the low voltage open we can open that rewirable we can rewirable cartridge are there that is a ferrule contact or knife blade contacts are in the low voltage in the high voltage we have the open cartridge liquid metal clad metal clad fuses are so there these are the different fuses these fuses cover with the electrical distribution wiring system and electronic appliances all are required the fuse so we having the fuse holders are there glass cartridge you can see glass cartridge is there the both sides are uh, is there glass fuses fixed in a glass holders used in all electronic equipment low current applications we use the fuse holders glass cartridge now we can g fuse holders you can g a short length of wire is used a short length of wire is used as fuse is mounted between two terminals used this type of things are used in the high current applications and used in the switch boards this is called as a fuse holders panel mounted fuse holders you can see these are the panel mounted fuse holders these are used to mount on the panel let's see wire link is wrapped over a small insulator this become a separate compo what materials we are used for the fuses how we made the fuse wise the important thing is the fuse wise are need to have the need to have the temperature coefficient of required one those are tin coated copper copper aluminum nickel these are the four uh, different materials which we are used to manufacture the fuses now we try to discuss about the rating of the fuse what how much the fuse will be withstand how much the fuse protects the 
devices from the overload that is called as a rating of the fuse fuses are rated by the following terms how we can rate the fuses are rating of the fuses depends on rated current fusing current fusing factor cutoff current prospective current pre arcing time arcing time total operating time braking capacity so these are the basic terms we are going to use in the fuses so meaning is we need to know the fuse current rating how much current can flow through the fuse wire fusing current fusing current fusing current means fusing means ha what current is needed to melt the fuse wire fusing factor what factor we need to consider fast factor or slow factor cut off current how much current we need to pass through this fuse prospective current pre arcing time pre arcing time is before going to melt that time is called as a pre arcing time arcing time that is a melting time total operating time the melt and break the connection that is called as a total operating time or breaking capacity how much it may break breaking capacity so these are the terms we are used to rate the fuses so what is the meaning of rated current so maximum current that can carry without overheating or melting is called as a rated current fusing current minimum current at which fuse melts the current at which fuse is going to melt is called as the fusing current fusing factor ratio of minimum fusing current to the current rating of fuse elements always greater than 1 fusing factor that meaning is ratio of minimum fusing current to the current rating of fusing element cut off current maximum value of the fault current before melting of fuse that is called as a cut off current prospective current the rms value of first loop of the fault current at which fuse melts is called as a prospective current current which would flow under the fault conditions when the fuse is replaced by an ordinary conductor of negligible resistance pre arcing time the time between the start of fault and the instant when cut off occurs is called as the pre arcing time the meaning is where where the current is overloaded where the fault is occurred after coming to the fault at what instant the cut off the melting of the fuse is started that is called as a pre arcing time you can see the diagram uh, it indicates the current and the time period cut off current fault current commencement of arcing current current zero arcing finish asymmetrical i current waveform pre arcing time arcing time total operation time you can see at the time of arcing the melting is start place so this is about the fuse arcing time the time between the end of the pre arcing and the instant when the arc is, is extinguished extinguished total operating time is pre arcing time and arcing time braking capacity the rms value of the ac component of the maximum prospective current that a fuse can deal with a rated service voltage is called as a braking capacity this is about the fuses what we need at the fuse what are the different terms are there in the fuse we are discussed after fuses the fuse the thing is whenever the overload comes 
the fuse is melting again if you wanted to operate the devices we try to use another fuse there so in order to manually changing overload should be protected but it should not be melting the meaning is it should not completely break the circuit it only break in between the supply and the load but not the device should be damaged in that concept we designed a another circuits that is called as miniature circuit breakers mcb miniature circuit breakers in the miniature circuit breakers these also these also a fuses but the capacity is whenever overload occurs whenever fault occurs the miniature circuit breakers break downs the fuse so that the supply and the demand that the supply and load connection will be breaked then we can check the circuit where the short circuit and overload is coming why we are getting and it is rectified then we can on the miniature circuit board so that the current will be passes we need not to buy another fuse or another wire to to make to establish the new connection that is the advantage of the miniature circuit breakers what is the mcb mcb is used stands for miniature circuit breaker the circuit it is a circuit protecting device and it is also act as a switch and fuse it is acting as a switch and fuse that is the advantage of the mcb use of the mcb means mcb acts against overload and short circuit trips and it can be set manually and it can be set manually that is the advantage of the mcb when what is the working of mcb how it is working mcb contains thermal elements in the form of spring mcb contains thermal elements in the form of spring the spring expands with the heat and trips whenever over temporary over over current passes through them it generate the heat the spring expands with that heat and it will trips the circuit thus the open the circuit tripping means opening the circuit the thermal heated elements then cool down thermal heated element is then cool down but it does not completely damaged as in the as in the fuses is only heated whenever heated expanded whenever it expanded it trips or it opens the circuit after the after that it will cool whenever whenever then the short circuit problem is rectified the circuit breaker can be reset manually after that you rectify and then we can reset manually larger large circuit breakers use coils to detect excessive current to open a circuit what is the necessity of connectors these are called the mc miniature circuit breakers large circuit breakers so this is the advantage of the miniature circuit breakers and this is the advancement in the fuses nowadays these mcbs are used in all way to protect the households from the shark sharks so generally in in the olden days there is no protection they use the very big fuses are there Where, wherever happens means that shark may harm to the children but this miniature circuit breakers are very useful whenever short circuit doctors automatically they trip the circuit or they open the circuit so that no device should no device does not damage any way and the fuse also not damaged after some time it will be cooled if we, we we can manually set into the normal positions this is the advantage of the mcb 
next next we are going to discuss about another one that is called as the contacts another one is the contacts what is the contacts or connectors what is the necessity of connectors what is the necessity of connector first you try to see what are the connectors connectors you can see so this is the cc here these are the connectors so these are the connectors cable tv connectors connectors are nothing but a wires which connect between the two circuits or two devices those are called as a connectors so depending on our devices connectors are different type so it may it may signal pass signal sending or it may sending video signal or it may sending sending audio signal or it may simply send the current okay so many connectors are there now we try to see different different connectors first what is the need of the connectors we try to see necessity or need of the connectors so what is the need of the connectors when complex electronic circuits are assembled it will not be possible to have all the circuit function in one circuit board or block the most of the equipment requires interconnection of one part with the other for interconnection of one part with the another part or from one pcb to another pcb in an equipment we use the connectors that is the main necessity of the connector we does not connect a total circuit within a single board so we we can divide the circuit into different different parts and different different parts will be connected in the different different boards so in order to share the information between the these two boards send the signal or send the current to these with these two board boards we use the connector that's why we need the connectors what are the different types of connectors connectors are so many types are there audio connector radio frequency connector ultra high frequency connector bnc connectors pcb connectors we having the these are the different connector means connecting wise different connecting wise and on the depending upon the different signals so this is a push button type uh, connector for tempor temporary connections to test we use this type of uh, push button type we are using connector cable tv connector you can see how it is there connector coaxial cable connector used in connecting the cable wire to tv you can see cable connector is confirm of different different things copper wire insulation copper mesh outside insulation we have we having there so these uh, plugs are male type that mates with the female socket that mates with a female socket so phone plug are there this is another type of uh, connector phone plug used in earphones and telephone switchboards provide facility for interconnecting audio equipment nowadays we are using the mobile from the mobile we are using the headphones how we are sending the data to the headphones yes the audio signal the audio signal is uh, coming from the mobile as electrical signal that electrical signal is converted into audio and that is visible to the human so that type of connectors are there you see in the in the slide another one is there interconnection of audio equipment but the tv also we having this type of uh, connectors are there multiple pin connector plug you see here multi connector wires are placed in a flat plastic ribbon to save the space plugs are female type that makes with the male socket female type and the male socket you can then you see here there is a these are the female and the below one is the male these are the multi connector wires is there the different wires if the number of wires are so many simply we connect this uh, multi connector wires and to join the two two sides what we are doing is female and male connectors we use and 
both them we connect the wires and club both them female and male inserted in each one so that we can get the multi pin connector flag you can see rca flag useful for cable connections audio cable connections we are using these are the rca flag so this is a terminal strip you can see this is a, another one terminal strip very good connector used to provide multiple solder connections so these are the this is not for the any signal transmission only electricity transmission current transmission we use the multiple solder connections are there sometimes called terminal lugs terminal lugs you can see here you can connect the three wires there even from this side another way here also we have to have six or uh, six eight connections are there in the terminal trip double banana pin plug this here double banana pin plugs uh, these are used in the uh, spring type sides that make tight connections that made tight connections we use this thing the another one is the alligator clips alligator clips are there used for temporary connection as in case of multimeter this uh, uh, crocodile th this is also called as a crocodile clips this crocodile clips is used for the temporary connections but temporary connection should be strong it does not whenever we moving this side and that side that should not be removed that should it might be loose so we use this uh, uh, temporary connection that is the alligator clips or crocodile clips also we can say spade plug you said this is another spade plug used for screw type connections this is very good used for screw type connections whenever we have the screw type is there this plug is used and uh, fix it that this is a very uh, good one it is generally used in the batteries in the batteries uh, charging and discharging purpose we use the we have the electrodes are there for that electrodes this by using this uh, plugs we connect the wires these are called the connectors so now we coming to the end we discussed about the relays we discussed about the fuses and also discuss about the mcbs and the connectors so all these four topics are covered here so first one time we try to summarize what we discussed in this class so what we discussed is a definition of relay and different type of relays and the function of the relay we discussed in the starting one the relay uh, what are the different relays different relay classification depending on the working principle depending on the polarization depending on the application in the, these three we used some of the applications and some of the relays and application and specification coming to the next one we discussed about the fuses we classify or define the fuse and different types of fuse what is the need of the fuse what is the necessity of the fuse we discussed in the in this after that we also discussed about the fuse holders and the fuse materials what type of materials we are using in the fuse we know that what is a fuse fuse is nothing but a thin wire or a thin strip whenever whenever more than whenever the whenever uh, more than allowed current is passes through the wire it may melt and make the break of the circuit and also discuss the application of the fuses and also discuss about the mcbs this is another type of fuses miniature circuit breakers these are may used as a switch or fuse we use that one this is a advancement and also discuss about the different types of connectors so many types of connectors are there depending on our application so necessity of also discussed about the necessity of the connectors we seen so many different different connectors are there all these we discussed in this topic
okay so this is about the this is about our class regarding relays fuses and uh, connectors and mcbs so now you see some of the questions to what you understand to test your knowledge you see the symbol identify the symbol identify symbol what it is the symbol is fuse next what is this picture this is the gas cartridge what is this this is the fuse holder you know this is the fuse holder and what is this and this is the panel mounted fuse holder yes or no as yes. panel mounted fuse holder and what is the meaning of fuse F fuse means what over current protection short circuit protection both over current and short circuit yes both over current and short circuit protection very good fuse is mean for both and again is here what is this and what is it? identify this one which type of uh, connector this is alligator clip these are alligator clips not banana clips alligator clips and uh, next one is here identify the connector which type of connector it is this connector is is terminal strip the answer is terminal strip we discussed in the last slide terminal strip and now i identify this connector what type of connector cable connector cable tv connector very good cable tv connector and what is what are these spare plug alligator clip rca plug rca lug these are okay the last one is the identify this connector what uh, connector this is a spare lug alligator clip rca terminal i think uh, answer is terminal lug terminal lugs terminal plug and these connectors are this is very important what are these connectors multiple pin connector plug multiple pin connector plug b answer is b and this is the this is uh, uh, phone plugs these are the phone plugs you know and what are these these are push button connectors i think connector what is a connector connector is meant for what interconnection short circuit protection both over current and circuit no circuit breaker no that is a a interconnection connector is meant for interconnection mcb is meant for both overload and short circuit c is the correct answer c is the correct answer thank you if you have any doubt you can ask me so this is about today's class I try to understand thank you thank you all